Previously on Dance Academy. Some space has temporarily opened up in the quarter ballet, so the company are considering taking some third years in for the rest of the Sydney season. So Jeffrey has a list of who fits his vision. Where am I on the list? Your legs. He likes them longer. I lied to everyone that I know where you are. I think I just need to believe that you're okay. You know, it's funny. I've only ever taken that bus once or twice. It's a bit of a mission, isn't it? It was okay. Gave me time to hone my Sudoku skills. Ah. Thanks. You're welcome. So, it's great you guys have been spending so much time together. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't tell me that school had gone back. It's nearly March, Raph. You probably could have worked it out. Hey, how are you? Freezing. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Tara called the other day and uh, I said she should come up and say hi. Anyway, you guys probably want to, and I should. So, what's happening? Have you been doing any classes? Yeah, at the Kingston Centre for Classical Arts. Christian. I'm sorry for just showing up, but you promised you'd come back, and I can handle you breaking that promise, but then totally falling off the grid. You didn't think we'd worry about you? Who's we? Everyone, your friends. I've got friends here. Have a great trip back. So, no secret, I've dreamt about it and stressed about it and worked for it, and now I'm in it. The company, okay, so only temporarily, but still, big step. Look, it's genius on two levels. To find me ironically hilarious and actually remember my name. <laughs> I am taking this whole experience in my stride. I am not going to be all deer in the headlights, freaked out that I'm performing alongside my heroes. I am just going to enjoy the fact that I'm a part of it that I belong. Uh, ben Tickle, <laughs> or the Ben Star, whichever. Uh, the core guys uh, sent me down here. Their dressing room's full. Uh, yeah, that happens sometimes. These are for the principals, but I'm sure you'll find something. <laughs> I'll just... Please try not to embarrass us too much. Um, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I, I thought that the world's best ballet student could take a joke. Ah, uh, totes. Yeah, I'm an inside laugher. Tara. Hi, Isabel. Um, I can't believe you nabbed a spot as well. How's Ethan? No, wait. Is this the Tara who stole your boyfriend, Tara? That was a really long time ago. Oh, look, I was about to dump him for that scuzzy motocross guy anyway. But still... <laughs> There's no more rooms. I don't understand the system. <laughs> I'm Abigail Armstrong, dancer, performer, artist. Cut. You know who's a show real expert? Ethan. We could do a conference call. That intro will stand out. And I don't need his advice. Don't think I haven't noticed the weird cone of silence surrounding your Barcelonian summer. How about you say pointless guesswork for your own time? 
company doesn't want me, so I don't want them. Plus, there are hundreds of dance companies around the world who would be lucky to have this. Arrogance and adversity. Nice. So, what's going to show you off? Classical, contempt, Taibo? I have no idea. The Royal will want classical, New Prague's gone all Twyla Farp, and NBP will probably want me reciting Hamlet as I fuerte. We're covering all bases. Again? You forgot the chicken salt, sea dog. Hey, look, for sale. We need wheels. Yeah, you also need a job, mate. Shut up. I got cash. Is that why I bought your chips again? Look, the bonnet's dirty. I reckon I can talk them down. <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> Ah, our spring chickens have arrived. Come nestle under my wing and enjoy my numerous farmyard puns. <laughs> Where shall we start, Rebecca? From the start. Brilliant. Now, you girls, just watch your fellow fowl and join in as soon as you've picked it up. Right, stop there. Tara, the next performance is tomorrow night. Sorry, could I quickly ask about motivation? Oh, uh, did I have a question about our uh, dressing room allocations? It's just that I grew up on a farm and, and one of our chickens, Miss Speckled Hen, she used to clean herself with dirt, like this. Are you suggesting changes to the choreography? Oh, no, of course not. It's timeless. I was just wondering if my motivation could be sort of like hen hygiene. Off you go. <laughs> Two and three. And Tara, chickens may be pea brain, but they still need to dance in time. <laughs> I'm assuming that wasn't part of your hygiene routine. <laughs> Palm hands to the stage, please. Public embarrassment is no excuse for sartorial butchery. But the company girls wear whatever they want to morning class, and I know you're going to tell me not to get sucked into the whole Miss Popularity contest, but uh, who am I kidding? I'll keep being the loserish new girl. I think you're cool. 
You're wrong. Abigail, Kat said you're applying to other companies. Don't throw a victory party just yet. Could you have shot me from a more unflattering angle? Someone's having an objectivity crisis. I'll speak to you later. Look, let me work my editing magic overnight while you, Petal, rustle up some supporting material, like CV, reference letter from an esteemed authority figure. Don't you have to focus on your deluded plan to fast track second year? Thing is, since I came back, you've been... You're my dance inspiration. Did you just combine dance inspiration or dance desperation? <laughs> Well, someone crawled in late. You can keep sleeping. You'll have to put a mask on. Come on, you're here to work. You're losing daylight. Let's go. You're getting good at this. There you go. You have been paying attention, eh? When we have a night out, I'm borrowing those arm warmers. Thanks, but I think we all know who wins fashions on the field. <laughs> Rebecca. Right, Giselle. Some of you may know it as the ballet we start rehearsing next week, or the one for which we have uh, yet to name our leading lady. Now, if uh, you will care to indulge me in a little dramatic reveal, I have managed to lure back one of the company's leading lights. Ah, speak of the devil. Devil? That's a bit unfair. I wrote you a reference letter now. Do you know what it would say? Abigail has not yet finished her training. It's my job to prepare dancers for the National Ballet Company. In my eyes, you're as much a contender as anyone. Even if I believe that, we both know at the end of the year it's not your eyes that count. I don't know why Rebecca told you what she did. Look, I'll speak to Sir Geoffrey and clear it up. No, Rebecca's the only one telling me the truth. Two years ago in audition week, you should have taken one look at my body type and known I didn't stand a chance with the company. Instead, here we are. With or without your help, Miss Rain, I'm finding other options. This is nice. Great rails, mate. You know, a few kids have asked me to teach them this stuff over the years, but none of them really had the knack. It looks like it's uh, in the jeans or something, hey? If dancing doesn't do it for you, at least you'll have a backup. <laughs> What are you doing? Christian, working in your crappy garage isn't my idea of a dream job, okay? Okay. Listen, mate, it's been great having you around here. But you're over it, right? I didn't say that. Now, I get that you needed time to chill out after your mate died. I do. And you know what? I haven't pushed school or anything. But bumming around in Kingston with those drop kicks. Are you serious? You're calling them drop kicks. Well, it's not helping, is it? A great dad voice you've been working on, Raph. Really close. Hey, Peter. Don't go talking down. Get in already. Damage. It was an absolute steep. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. He seriously believed it. <laughs> Dude, this is stupid. We have to we have to return it before someone realizes. Ah, fine, let me out. <laughs> <laughs> let me out, you idiot. I've got a record. <laughs> yeah, so does me mum. Stop the car! <laughs> have fun walking home, douche.
Last year was, it was a tough year for all of us. Anyway, I got you something. So Jeffrey, bless him, doesn't always encourage a lot of creativity in his core. So whenever I got frustrated, my mentor had me write things down as a way to stay inspired. Thanks. And if you want me to quickly take you through the peasant variation again, your phrasing was just the tiniest bit off. It'll be better tonight. I'm going to enjoy the performance and focus on artistry. Were you just listening? Don't stress about artistry, okay? Just nail the steps and try to blend in. So, you know, I was pressed for editing time. Well, you'll be getting notes. Where's my intro? That was an early casualty. Hey, look, it's a dancing fetus. No, 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 seriously, I feel like some child labor laws were broken. <laughs> Over there, Kayla Runikov. I think her and the commish crew got a job in Brisbane or something. Don't you have her dates? I used to. It doesn't matter. You're never gonna plan it if your hands that far across. I still don't think I made a mistake accepting you. I can't... I can't face every other company in the world telling me that I'm not right for them. That I'm not good enough. Oh, okay, okay, enough. The speech you're giving me, the I quit speech, I've heard it a hundred times, but I won't hear it from you. Not yet. For the next two weeks, you're off sick. No classes, no work. Tell everyone you have glandular. Can we make it something a bit less disgusting, please? After two weeks, if you still want to quit, well, we'll talk again. Good luck. You were good. 
It was a perfectly respectable chicken dance. All I could think about was Saskia, weird guilt present aside. She basically told me not to dance my best. Act two, beginners to the stage. I mean, Act I'm playing a farm begin. girl, and Tara Webster knows farm girl. Yeah, so do your own thing. Attention! Uh, so this broom closet is now off limits. Uh, Benster's only. So. Miss Speckled Hen, come here. As a member of the Corps de Ballet, your entire responsibility is to stay three inches from the dancer on your left side, three inches from the dancer on your right side, and perfectly mirror their every movement. I have no idea what inspired you to ignore this fundamental rule, except perhaps the chicken voices in your oh, head. Oh, give her a break. We were all new once. She'll be better next time. This is not one of those times when I'm going to be disappointed with the reality. It's the company. It's too important. Well, at least you had Saskia in your corner. Which makes everything so much less confusing. Excuse me, can you please sign my program? <laughs> I'd love to. Are you, are you a dancer? Yes. Time for a change in perspective. Saskia could be right. I have to inspire myself. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe I'll keep a record of this year. The good, the not so good. The twists and turns. You may want to sleep elsewhere. Have you heard of dengue fever? And that way, I won't take anything that happens for granted. <laughs> 